Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Concord at Cadence. Let's check out this model. So, we are over in Cadence. If you don't know where that is, that is in the eastern portion of Henderson. This one right here, this is the summer field. It is a three to four bedroom. Ooh, almost had an accident right there. Three to four bedroom, two and a half baths, three car garage, and it's 2,335 square feet. Now, the HOA out here is $40 a month. The base price of this home is $482,995. Now, on average, people are putting about 10 to 15% into the homes. This one, I was told has somewhere between four and $500,000 with the options, upgrades, and everything else in it. Now, do me that huge, huge favor, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe because I put out new tours daily. Let's get on into this one. So, coming in. Wow, look at the beam work. Again, this one is highly, highly done up. Basically, everything you see is an option. Upgrade, something in between. Real quick, if you wanna pause, these are all of the options that have been put into this specific home. So if you wanna pause, see all of them. Now, if you are thinking about buying new, you are considering purchasing a new home, do yourself a huge, huge favor and call a realtor. Don't fill out information online. Don't go into the sales associate's office because the builder will not let you be represented. If you have questions, all of my info is down in the description below. Again, a little fun fact, as the buyer, you do not pay the realtor commission the builder does. So again, if you have questions, give me a call. This is super cool. I wonder if one of those is in every bedroom. So you can control, it's almost like it's a Sonos controller. Hmm, really cool. So first bedroom, sorry. You don't see these like techie things too often. 10 foot ceilings. Again, this whole entire community is going to be single story. So it makes this room feel really, really big. Full size bed, two nightstands, two nice size windows too. You could probably cheat this uh, nightstand over a bit and get a desk in right there. They do have the plant, they do have a tree. If you're new, there's like a running joke with a couple people in the comments. We have the trees and we have the soap niche. I know I'm always joking about getting a shirt made. Where's my soap niche? But nice size bedroom. They do have the two door slider for your closet. Again, if you want to uh, double your storage, you can always move that one up and add a second one. Coming on out and in to the bathroom. So this is a nice size bathroom. It feels really, really deep. It's a big bathroom. So just this single vanity though. Hmm. I know this is gonna service as like the majority, or no, we haven't even seen the powder room. So just a single vanity service, these two bedrooms though. We have upgraded cab or countertops, really cool. Let me just see. So standard bumpers, what you could always do is go to Lowe's or Home Depot after you close and get the hinges for it, the soft close. They tiled behind here. It's pretty nice. So right here we have our, oh, I didn't even show you the toilet. And again, lots of space. I do like this. We have our tub shower combo. Now that's a fiberglass composite tub. We have tile all the way to the ceiling. Shower head right there. It feels so tall with the 10 foot ceilings. Valve and tub filler. And this is what I was talking about. Where's my soap niche? I would love a little soap niche. Again, you at least you have the corners, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like for how big this bathroom is, that tub seems awfully shallow. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think. We come on out and go down the hall. We hit our second bedroom. Does this have that cool play button? No, there's no speakers in this room, but oh, sorry for the sun flare. So again, highly, highly upgraded. We have uh, the pendant lighting above the beds. I don't know how I would feel about it right above my head but it does look really, really neat. I feel like most people aren't gonna have two beds in here, so they did it like that, so it would be over the nightstands, but it just, it's kind of funny. Uh, decent size room. Sorry about that sun flare again. Really nice, big windows. Right here, we have another two-door slider. 
and this has been highly optioned up. So they're trying to show you what you could potentially do. They've got all the storage, all the organization. It's pretty nice. And those are actually sock clothes. So they did this up. You even have some shoe holders. Really, really nice. So this gives you an idea of what you could potentially do with a closet. We come on out. Front door, I love this beam work and these chandeliers. I know some people, they just watch the channel even to get ideas, inspiration, all that good stuff. I would love to have these beams in my house. Coming on down, before we get into the living, dining, all that good stuff, we have some built-ins right here, and we have our powder room. I was gonna say, it's kind of funny there's no wallpaper, but they did do some design. You have your toilet, pedestal sink, kind of neat with all of these pieces of wood right here. Different, I like it. Again, pretty much everything you see in this house is an upgrade. I love how open this is. Love this. So right here would be your fourth bedroom. If you so choose to do a fourth bedroom, I don't know if, oh, geez, this is really nice with the beam work. I love this. I know a lot of people are working from home. I can see a lot of people doing either the lounge or turning this into an office because how cool is this? Really, really, really neat. I, I feel like, I don't, I don't know. Would you do four bedrooms? Would you do three? Let me know down in the comments below. I love this lounge idea. Just kind of a relaxing area. They did a bunch of built-ins over here, extra lighting. Again, probably four to $500,000 worth of options and upgrades. And that includes the backyard. So when you buy new, definitely keep in mind that you are responsible for finishing the backyard however you choose. I'll get back to all here after we check out right here. They did built-ins right here. I don't know, would you want the built-ins like this or would you want the, since this is your garage, your three car garage, would you want a bench and turn this kind of into like your mud entry area and put like the hooks and everything up above? At least they give you a lot of freedom with what you could do. Again, three car garage and wow. Look at this laundry room. Really, really nice laundry room right here. We have some linen closet area. So again, Everything in here is an option or an upgrade. So you have your area for your washer, dryer, all the uppers are options. All of these lowers with the cabinets down here, the folding area, the sink, the backsplash. You can go crazy and do all of this. But again, everything you see is going to be an option. What they're gonna do is they're gonna give you the one shelf right here and just give you extra area. Now, we, spin and come on down the hall again we'll see the living space we'll see that wow really nice kitchen we'll see all that here in a minute i wonder what's in here maybe another linen closet i'm guessing right now they've turned this into the av room audio video uh controls all the brains of the house this is kind of neat with all these built-ins as well they even did lights led lighting under each one but if we continue on, look at the ceiling in here. Wow. So master bedroom, cool chandelier too. It's big, it's a big room, king size bed. There's a couch in here, two big nightstands, lots of lighting. This is pretty nice. There's even a door to access outside. I'm sure you probably could option and get the slider here if you want to. They have a lot of different ways you could do the home. But again, really, really nice size bedroom, dresser. You have your door outside. While we're here, let's just step outside really quickly so I can show you what I'm talking about. Now, normally when you get a, a home from the builder, it's going to be a dirt backyard. It's up to you to finish it however you so please. Now, average backyard out here is gonna be somewhere between 13-ish, call it 12 to $15,000. This is not a 12 to $15,000 yard. If you put a pool and just the pool and the pool equipment, no heater, no spot, at minimum $35,000 with no landscaping. 
they've done this whole pergola, outdoor kitchen, outdoor dining. They even spec it so you have slider, huge slider in the door right here, even an outdoor TV. This, uh, this is nice. This is probably somewhere between even outdoor fan. I'm gonna say this is at least a hundred, uh, yeah, call it a hundred thousand dollar backyard. So definitely keep that in mind when you are purchasing new. It's up to you to finish the backyard however you please. Ooh, this is nice. So right here, wow. That is a very big linen closet. That could be a second closet. It's huge. Before we check that out. Oh, look at the master closet too. Whoa. Right here we have our toilet area. We have our vanities. I love all of this woodwork. Again, if you don't know this about me, my father is a carpenter. So this makes me happy. I love this. Nice vanities. Again, really like this stone. Let's just see. Just again, the standard bumpers, but still really, really like all of this flow. Now, nothing about this is standard. They did, there is a step up. It's not zero threshold. You have your toweling off area. Um, and I don't know where you put your towel because there's no, there's no towel bar in here. So I love the fact when I see the valve right here, so you don't have to go all the way in and get under the cold water. One thing I would 100% option for if I'm getting this shower is the rain shower head. They do have it, it is an option. They just, they can only put so much into the house. You know, you can't turn a 450 or what is this? $483,000 house into a $1.4 million house. It just won't appraise, but very, very, very nice shower. Look at this. So normally you're gonna get the single bar and shelf but they're trying to show you what you could potentially do. So you have your shoe organizers, you have all the hanging space, you have more shoe organizers, hamper area. These are cool. So if you have like jewelry or watches, even soft clothes, and for like purses, there's even mirrors behind it, more mirrors, more hanging space, more hampers. Look at this, they have all the nice brand name bags and even some more mirrors. I feel like right here, you need a full length mirror. Now the door will open this way, but I feel like right there, maybe the door, I know they usually have an option where you can do the mirror on the door, but let me know what you think of this one so far. Again, do me that huge, huge favor for the YouTube algorithm. Hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. Now, look at this dining area. How cool is that whole wall? So they have all like these wine bottles in here. Nice big table. So eight person table. It needs a chandelier. Other than that, this is super, super cool. But mm, hmm. one big complaint and personal complaint. I love hard surface. So either wood or stone or uh, laminate, the vinyl. This is embedded carpet. So I know a lot of builders are trying to be different and do different things. Look at this living and dying. Oh, kitchen is awesome. So we already went out back. We saw that big slider. This is so funny. And I, so they did the cut in. That's like a, I don't know, 42 inch TV. I feel like if they're gonna do that cut in, make it so it could fit like, I don't know, 65, 70 inch TV. You're, if you're gonna put a bigger TV, you're gonna have to have it in front of that. But all of these cabinets, all of these storage, that's cool. That's a barn door that can actually slide back and forth. Different design. But I love this living space so far. It's really, really open. Love the open concept. Ooh, I'm gonna make everyone wait and I'm gonna spin this way because the kitchen is really, really nice. Again, slider right there. There is another slider on this wall, but here we have kind of our breakfast nook area. They did all of this bench right here. Really cool design elements. It's like a big concrete looking table. It doesn't feel too big here either. I feel like they need to shift it a little bit more. It's 
kind of interesting that they put this cabinet or these benches here, but they did a round table because it rectangle square. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Again, we have our slider right here, lots of windows. And if we turn, we have this amazing kitchen. Look at this. Wow. So they did the double uppers. They have their whole island right here. You probably could fit four stools, but it would be tight. I'm seeing some builders do even an overhang right here, which is a really, really neat idea. I love when I see that. They did pendant lighting. They did the backsplash. They did the double uppers. They did the upgraded kitchen appliances. So you have your refrigerator, your microwave right there, a little espresso nook, and then they did double oven in this one. I know this is gonna make so many people happy. It's really, really nice. I love the stone that they chose. These builders, for some of their models, they pick really, really nice choices. Again, four to $500,000 in this home. We have our espresso nook. We do have a phone jack. It would be very hard. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to show you. I'm like six inches short of that upper cabinet. So you're definitely gonna need a bar stool, or not a bar stool. You could use that, but I would recommend a step ladder. We have our small but walk-in pantry. It is way bigger than standard, but it is a nice size walk-in. I, I wish my pantry was this big. Mine's a little coat closet. We have double oven, and I know this is making so many people happy when they see that. Again, more cabinets. There's a lot of cabinetry in here. Coming around, before we check out that uh, burner set, we have more cabinets underneath. We have really nice double base and undermounted sink and it actually has some curvature to it here's your view while washing dishes it's not bad you can literally see everyone you can even see people over there at the dining table we have our dishwasher and if we spin back around we have our five burner cooktop we have our backsplash and then they did wood paneling above it. You usually see them backsplash all the way up, but this is kind of a cool idea. Might have to steal that for my house. Really nicely spec. Again, this is highly, highly, highly optioned, basically double price. If you have any questions about this home, any other tours, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me. If you have any questions, again, all my info is down in the description below. We'd love to hear from you. Love to answer anything that you might have. Let me know what you think about this one. Very curious to see what you guys have to say. Again, make sure to hit the like button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to subscribe. Again, I put new videos out every single day. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.